Hi everyone, in this video I'd like to talk about some terms um, such as paths and circuits as well as Euler paths and Hamiltonian paths and circuits. So let's start off with Euler paths. So here we're talking about paths that use each edge only once. Okay, so let's make a note of that here. Um, these are paths which use each edge only once. If we want to look at Euler circuits, these are similar, but we're talking about a circuit. And a circuit is like a, a closed path that starts and ends at the same vertex. So this is a path that starts and ends at the same place and uses each edge only once. Now, Hamiltonian paths and Hamiltonian circuits are a little bit different. Um, they are really concerned about vertex, vertices, and how many times we visit the vertices. So, for example, a Hamiltonian path, um, this would be a path which visits each vertex only once. And a Hamiltonian circuit would be the same idea, but we're talking about a circuit. So, this would be a path that starts and ends at the same place and visits each vertex only once. So that's a key distinction to make here is that Euler's really interested in edges and Hamilton was really interested in vertices. All right, so I'd like to give you some examples and see if you can find an Euler path, Euler circuit, etc. So let me pause for a moment. Okay, so let's take a look at two examples here and analyze whether uh, these have Euler pass circuits, Hamiltonian pass or circuits. So in the graph on the left here with vertices A, B, C, D and E, we want to know if it has an Euler path. In other words, can we travel around the graph visiting each edge only once? So we don't want to leave out edges and we don't want to double cross the edges. We want to go on every path, on every edge, but only once. So there's a couple of ways to do this. We could start at vertex A and we could travel along to B, then travel down this edge to C, travel from C to A, travel from A to E, travel from E to D, and then finally travel D back to C. So you can see we have traveled on every edge and we only did that once. So if I wanted to describe the Euler path, I would say I started at A, then I went to B, then I went to C, then I went to A, then I went to E, then I went to D, and lastly, I ended at C. Does this have an Euler circuit? Well, the answer is no. And the reason is no is because I started at one vertex and ended at a different one and there's no way to start and stop at the same vertex. You can give it a try, um, but you'll find that one does not exist. And I'll give you some characterizations that you can use to quickly decide if a graph has an Euler path or an Euler circuit. All right, I'll give you those in a minute. For now, let's take a look at Hamiltonian paths and Hamiltonian circuits. So for a Hamiltonian path, let's see if I could start, I'll use a different color, I'll use uh, purple. Can I start, I don't know, I'll start at A. So once I visited a vertex, oops, it's not letting me color in, there we go. Once I visited a vertex, I will, in theory, color it in. All right, so I visited vertex A. Then I'll go traveling along, I'll visit vertex B, travel along this edge, hit C, 
I don't want to go across the middle here because then I'll bump into A and I've already been there. So let's keep going around the perimeter. I'll hit D and then lastly I can hit E. So the answer is yes, there is a Hamiltonian path and I can do it with A, B, C, D, and E. Next, for the Hamiltonian circuit, I can pretty much use the same path I've already used, but just start and end at the same vertex. So I will go A, B, C, D, E, and then back to A, um, and that completes my circuit. I started and ended at the same vertex. So this graph did have an Euler path, did not have an Euler circuit, but it did have a Hamiltonian path and a Hamiltonian circuit. So I'd like you to pause the video now and see if you can answer the same questions with the other graph here, which has vertices G, H, I, J, and K. Okay, so hopefully you've had a moment to think about these things. So an Euler path, if we try to look for an Euler path, um, let's see what we could do. Well, we could start at G and I could travel from G to H and then I could go H to K and then K to J, J back to H and H out to I. So there is an Euler path and that was not too bad to find. Let's list that here. So I went G, H, K, J, H, I. There is not an Euler circuit. And now let's look at Hamiltonian paths and Hamiltonian circuits. So if I try to find a Hamiltonian path, let's say I start at G, and then I come up here to H, I'm kind of stuck because I see that if I go out to I, then I can't come back into H. So if I go out to I, it's a dead end path. I'm out there and I'm, I'm done. And then I never got to include my other vertices. The other option would be to say, okay, I'm at H. I'm gonna hit down here to K and then J so I can pick up those. But then again, I can't come back to H and I've left out I. So I'll just draw that here. If I traveled out to K and traveled to J, then I'm stuck because the only way I can hit vertex I is to come back and visit H and I don't want to do that. So the answer here would be a no. There is not a Hamiltonian path, nor is there a Hamiltonian circuit. Okay, so lastly, I'd like to give you some characterizations so that you can use these tools to figure out if you've got an Euler path or uh, an Euler circuit. So let me clear the board a bit here. So, some helpful tips. So, Euler paths, remember you're uh, traveling each edge only once. Okay? So, you have Euler paths existing. So, Euler paths exist if and only if the graph has at most two vertices of odd degree. And Euler circuits, so again, you're traveling each edge only once, but you have to start and stop at the same vertex. So you have to kind of close your your trip, you gotta come back home. Um, these exist if and only if 
all vertices of G have an even degree. And then for Hamiltonian, we don't really have any shortcuts, so you really do have to go hunting around for those.